Like, how hard could it be to squeeze 230 pounds in here? A little limber. <laughs> oh my. Oh. A cup car view. So if you were racing, this is what you got to look at. Oh, main electronics. Yep. Uh, fuel pump. Oh. Yeah, Cause intake work. pump. Okay, yeah. Ignition. Yep. So from there, you can hear your fuel pumps warning. You can hear everything else start to move. All, all we'd need to do is hit the button. What's happening today guys? Welcome back to the vlog. I am downtown Victoria. I came down here to get a haircut. So let's start off the vlog with a haircut at Victory Barbershop. What's up here? What's up? You say hi to everybody? <laughs> you are such a cutie. How you doing buddy? You miss me? You miss me? Your mom's gonna give me a haircut. Do you wanna sit on my lap? Oh yeah, I do. You believe it's morning. I'm alive, but that's the last thing on my mind. On rainy days, I sit back and count ways on how to get rich. Cooling with a mean ill Jamaican bitch. Banana coat matching with the ratchet. Black Haircut done. What do you guys think? But I'm gonna wear a hat just because of weather wise. So I just discovered that Victory Barbershop, where I get my hair done, has their own YouTube. Ian here takes care of everything. He's a phenomenal editor and cinematographer. Let's go and check it out. It's right here. As always, there'll be a link in the description. Thanks again, bro. Next on the list of things to do is get some food. The food vlog is about to commence. There's a place called. Taco Fino that started as a food truck further on the west coast of Vancouver Island in a place called Tofino. They have an amazing food, uh, or sorry, Mexican restaurant here in Victoria uh, from the success of their food truck. So I think we should head over there. Make sure I don't get hit here by traffic. This is the spot right here. Ta co fi no. Just talking to my friend Tyson, who's a salesman at Poor Center Victoria, and it turns out they got a cup car sitting in their showroom. So why don't we go and check that out? As long as I don't get hit by a bus. Okay, I legitimately just tripped coming up the stairs. Super embarrassing, awesome vlog moment. But we're here at Porsche Center Victoria. This is my buddy Tyson. What's up guys? He's a sales guy here, so if you need a car and you're in the market, um, you're more than welcome to come and talk to him. They have a cup car here and it's it's nuts. So why don't we just get to it? I don't Makes need to keep GC3 teasing you. The RS look tame. And we can do the full comparison because there's one there. And then, ta-da! The first thing I noticed walking up on this car were the tires. The rain tires and the grooves are just like more aggressive than any street tire I've seen. I mean, this rain tire is like probably double what it, even a street legal snow tire would be. 
Pretty much. Yeah. I mean, you, you got to avoid aqua planing at 250, 300 kilometers an hour. Right. So it, it's really got a heavy groove on it, but it's still a very, very soft compound. And insanely soft, like sticky beyond belief. I want these for my street car. <laughs> that is, I mean, you guys, like, flick of the pinky. That's the door is so light. There's, I can't even describe it. Yeah. Um, I would say if I had to take a guess, if we took that off, it would weigh maybe five pounds if that i bet you really if that yeah you've got all your yeah. crash protection in the roll cage here yeah so really the door is a couple of skins a couple of carbon skin jeez your whole head's just surrounded <clears throat> steering wheel has some really cool features on it as well does it so you've got all your buttons for for wipers for pit lane all kinds of fun stuff there your reverse is also on that clutch is downright tricky um, but I'm sure once you get it flying on the on the racetrack, it, it all makes sense. The clutch. <laughs> yeah, the clutch is tricky? The clutch is tricky. So it does have a third pedal. It does have a clutch to get you off the line. Uh, but beyond that, you're just grabbing paddles. Air actuated transmission. So yeah, it's wow. it's pretty tricky. But when you're on the fly, it's just banging up the shifts. A little bit of uh, I'm such a small, slim <laughs> guy, though. Like, how hard could it be to squeeze 230 pounds in here? Well, we were, just, we were concerned about our dress pants getting in and out of those things. But... Uh... You look a little limber. <laughs> oh my. Oh. <laughs> right? Oh shh. I mean, is this the steering wheel from Gran Turismo? Pretty much. Holy shit. And the paddles are just tiny little things. Mm -hmm. But yeah, <sighs> no power steer. So yeah, third third pedal. Jeez, mm -hmm. um, I mean, more switches than I would know what to do with. Yeah. Like, a, I mean, I admit, I'm not a, I don't claim to be a race car driver. Mm. I don't, I have very little track experience, but I love building what my interpretation of a race car for the street is. For sure. Right? For sure. But this is just insane. Here, we'll do a, we'll Water. do a, yeah. Cup car view. So if you are racing, this is what you got to look at. Let's so do it. So main, electronics. Yep. Uh, fuel pump. Oh. Yeah. Cosworth. Intake pump. Okay, yeah. Ignition. Yeah. So from there, you can hear your fuel pumps warning. You can hear everything else start to move. All, all we need to do is hit the button, but we won't do that inside. Because no. we'll deafen people with this thing. Oh, it's... She's loud. Insane? Yeah, it's, it's wild. <laughs> Again, makes a GT3 RS look downright tame. This is crazy. Not bringing any passengers in this bad boy? No. Um, so forget the child seat or family. I can't believe how I can't believe how light that is. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna need help here. <laughs> it's I could help, but it's more fun to just watch you struggle. Holy! Can you just grab on to somewhere? I right? kick one leg. I'm not even playing this up, dude. <laughs> like, this is. All right, you good. No problem. No, no problem. Piece of cake. Yeah. Now, now do that after you've just cartwheeled the thing down the road. Oh, and you're all shooken up. Yeah. The wing. Let's just have a quick glance at the wing before I get to the up where you are. I mean, God, the girth on that wing. That is just. It's not subtle. <laughs> so again, the differences between a, a race car and a street car. Wow. You have a, a certified fuel cell here, yep. uh, able to, to sustain some wicked crash impact. And this is your air jack. So your pneumatic system for your air jack um, can basically just put a cable in, uh, car just lifts up on uh, three mounting points. I want this for my car, for my street car. <laughs> so I can just like, you know, pop it up yeah. in the garage and rip tires off whenever I feel like it. Connection for your air jack. We've already popped the pins for the rear because we want to show you quite a different airbag bar box from what you find on the GT3 RS. Um, Damon, you might also notice that we've got some exposed carbon here. This is the first time we've seen it like Lambo with the, what do they call it? Oh, the uh, forged carbon. Forged carbon, exactly right. So we have not seen this on any production Porsche yet, but we it's can on probably the race expect car. it in the future. Absolutely. It's on the race car. So let's show you guys that. So we've got. This is Porsche's uh, interpretation of forged carbon. It is a little different looking than Lambos. It is cool though. 
and you either love it or hate it, and I don't know why people hate it. Maybe they don't understand it, but I think it's awesome. Mm -hmm. So you were saying this is so this is the racing right here on the screen that these cars compete in, right? Exactly. So the GT3 Cup is a car that you can buy from Porsche Motorsports uh, right out of the box, run it in a competitive series. So one make series like this, they run them in Europe, they run them in the Middle East, they run them in Asia. There's one for the US and there's one for Canada. So this car that we were just walking through has been competing all year in the Canadian series. Um, but it, it's really cool to see some of the, the decal kits, some of the advertising and uh, you know the livery that we love seeing. See, Tyson doesn't understand that I run my car in the day-to-day -day racing against soccer moms competition. <laughs> We're gonna, we grab the keys to the GT3 RS, the street legal version, not gonna be as extreme, but you're gonna see a lot of like similarities such as a big ass wing, which wouldn't normally come on the average 911. So I tell my clients that this is really as close to a race car as you can get for the street. Um, some of our clients, like this one here, have even taken it a little step further. So this one has a full roll cage in it. This one has the diffuser out of the 911R, which now our, uh, our track members who are running RSs up at our circuit, they've all now purchased that diffuser for a little extra downforce. So nice. it's got that underneath. We've got our big adjustable rear wing on the back. A street legal track monster. So what kind of horsepower is this car putting out? 500 on the nose. 500. Yeah, and it, it's All very NA. much naturally aspirated. No turbos yeah. or anything. And this is very much the same block, same motor as the cup car inside. A yeah. little bit of a different intake. Of course, this has an actual silencer. This has a muffler on it uh, to keep you under the certain decibel restrictions for daily driving. Yeah. Um, but stereo, navigation, leather seats, a lot of comfort built into this car that we just did not see on that cup car inside. So this seat is yep. the exact same seat if you spec to your GT4 you could get this correct which GT4, is all from the GT3, 918 gt3 rs absolutely and it came out for the 918 yeah. so these seats are incredibly expensive i think they're a 6500 dollars option on these cars but if you try and get a set just on the open market i think they're about fifteen thousand, if not more 15 grand yeah and hard to get so there you guys have it thanks to tyson we got a full tour of the cup car a gt3 rs street legal car by the way, this car is for sale right now, currently here in Victoria. So if you're looking in the market for a GT3 RS, these cars have been extremely hard to get. The fact that they even have one, give them a call right now. I'll put a link in the description for um, the website. You can look up Tyson and you'll get his pleasurable services. He's a great guy. Well, I get to play with a lot of Porsches on a lot of regular basis, but uh, so don't get to play different. with too many Lambos here. steering wheel yeah put that down into sport and then uh, fire at will oh go right up there <laughs> Jesus the rest of Victoria now knows we are here yeah I was just telling Damon I could hear him coming a couple of miles away in a condo downtown and you just hear it rattling off the windows love it so do you have a nose lift on it a what a nose lift yeah nice you need it, yeah, you need it. I mean, I would have no front bumper. And then, yeah, there's the hole there. Yeah. From uh, Mulholland. Mulholland really. Drive Construction. Oh. Got me, finally got me. And I still blame James, Jay Stratty, my boy. <laughs> the one day I run into you, no moment of silence for the splitter. <laughs> no, I like you did the, the matching vinyl on the Scud as well. Love that car. Yeah. Great to see him side by side. the lucky ones who have seen the Centenario in real life. I've seen the, the Performante in real life and they did an amazing job on this kit. It just looks spectacular. All right, brother. Well, well back to work. Great to see you. This guy's got to like sell cars. He's got to sell cars.